good, whatever time it is for you. Although this may be more of a morning practice um, today as it's Friday as I record this and the sun is back in my area of California and we can breathe outside again and that is coming back for all of us at some point. And um, yeah, just the constant cycles and change and well, all that we are processing and dealing with right now, all of the new stimuli at this time of life, the loss, the grief, and the beauty, the wonder, the magic that's happening amidst it all. May we stay open to all of it. May we keep playing with new perspectives, new ways to express ourselves, and to really just feel in to the truth of where we're at and of what our part is in the world right now. Maybe you hold your body. Maybe you just feel your hands resting on your lap. As you feel comfortable to, though, I invite you to close your eyes and draw your awareness inward. Remember the preciousness of this gift of embodiment. Good morning, body. Greetings, body. Welcome onto the mat. Welcome into the sacred place and time that we have set for ourselves, for our practice. And thank you. Thank you to this body, to great mystery, source, creator, for this gift of embodiment, for this gift of breath, for this opportunity today to begin again. Each breath, our teacher, the letting go, the necessary letting go, the emptying out, and that pause in the emptiness, the turning as one part of an apparent cycle turns into the next, and the inhale comes, and we welcome what is coming to us. We welcome the offerings, the beauty, the abundance, the healing, the support that is all around us. And we pause in that fullness and even revel in the fullness, knowing it's also impermanent. And we let go, we let go, we empty out. We pause for that turning, seeing the turning and welcoming back in. In this way, let us simply breathe together for a couple minutes. And maybe you count your breath to five or six. Maybe you add a mantra to your breath to five or six seconds. And really just fully be present for this gift of breath and the pause and the turning.
a few more breaths, breathing your yes to life, welcoming, pausing, observe that turning and the letting go and observe the turning to the welcoming. And follow your next exhale to touch the earth, to ground down into the foundation that supports you. Root down and lift through your heart. Lift through the crown of the head. Feeling into the earth, into the beautiful darkness that supports us, the fecundity of the underworld, all the creepy crawly things and the bones of our ancestors and the underground rivers and streams and sand and crystals and all the beauty and the mystery of the unseen. And we give thanks to those ancestors whose shoulders we stand upon, to all that we have learned, whether or not we're choosing to bring it forward, some things better left behind. Thank you for that learning too. And thank you to all of the teachers, gurus, and lineages that have brought these practices to us. And follow your next inhale, if you will. Open up wide to the sky. Gather up the great sky, that becoming smile of the new moon, and draw the hands, and if you will, that silver smile down to the crown of the head. Pause. May we awaken to our oneness our interconnectedness. And hands to the third eye center, pause. May we see clearly, knowing beyond words, big picture. And hands to the mouth, may we speak our truth, may we sing our songs, may we ask for help when we need it. and hands to the heart. May we be present for whatever arises with courage, with kindness. And may all of our effort and energy be for the greatest good, for ourselves, for those around us, and may it ripple out. May all beings benefit. May all beings be joyous and free and safe from harm. Exhale and pour your breath out. Inhale your hearts, yes, if you will. Join me, one great Om. Om, the sound of being, the vibration of consciousness, of pure potential. And Hring, the Bija Mantra of the heart, sound of becoming, the sprouting, the healing, the turning to the opening, to the new. Exhale and empty. Inhale your heart's yes. Again, Om and Hring, twice again, alternating. Oh. Oh. 
Maybe you press into your pinkies and thumbs and blossom that lotus of your heart open. And reach and rise that heart lotus up to the sky and opening wide that smile of the sky, rippling your yes out into the world. So it is. All right, so we're going to play with some twists today. A little bit of grounding stuff still at the new moon, but also just full body activation Friday style or whatever day it is for you style as you watch this. And so welcome those just arriving and come on to your mat. And let's begin with the toes under and sit on your heels. Ah, right away. Good morning, souls. Stretching out the feet, waking the legs up. If you've been with me a lot this week, we've been doing lots of leg stuff. So maybe a little more stretchy rather than muscular again in the legs today. We'll see. We'll let the muse have her way as she will. And so breathing into the feet here. If that's a lot for you, please come off. And then back on, just kind of pulse in and out of that. With your breath, a few more breaths. Daria, you can type in the chat if there's anything you want to work on. Let me know, okay? Welcome. Otherwise, let's add some fierce breath to this. As you're ready, inhale, arms up. As you exhale, tongue to chin, eyes to the sky. And really squeeze the bottom tips of your lungs and pull your navel back. Four more, inhale, reach up, breathe into your feet. Exhale, fierce breath. Notice I like to use the I love you mudra, fierce love. Up to you, three more. And come on to your hands and knees. Give your toes a little love, tap out. And let's play a little stretch of the hands for a moment. So spread your fingers really wide, claw your fingertips and lift your wrists, lower them down. Lift the wrists, palms up, fingers stay clawing and rooting. Couple more. Thumbs up. Fingers point out to the sides. Again, spread those fingers wide, claw them, lift, pulse, pulse, pulse. Keeping fingers super strong, wrists light. We want this throughout our practice. One more. And then fingers turned all the way around towards you. And let's just take a little rock side to side there. And even going full circle here, pulling back a little rock side to side there when you're ready, around, stretching out the wrist, stretching out the hands, pause, rock it as you like. We don't want to force anything. Always looking for it to be more investigative first. If it feels familiar or easy, then go ahead and flow. And then come back, shake your hands out. Shake them all the way up to the sky and shake them all the way back down. And do that again. I'm like, the cat. Sorry, I haven't needs a lot of attention these days in his new house. <laughs> all right. 
And so we we did that part, yay! And come on to hands and knees again. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, look back at your tail. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, other side, look back at your tail. With your breath, side to side. Let's get in that spine nice and fluid in the side to side motion, and then we'll articulate the spine in an elongated way. So walk the hands a little further forward, maybe knees a little further back. We're going to keep the toes under here. Don't worry, we're done with the big pressure on the feet. And inhale and pull back from your navel. Round, 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 round. Head down. Stretch back. Take pause here. Push your hips back. Give your tail a little wag. <sighs> Soft jaw, all the breath out. Next inhale, again, lift lower back, round, 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 round as you come forward, and then lift your tailbone, drip lower back down, ribs down, heart down, throat down, head up. Inhale there, and as you exhale this time, tailbone scoops in, lift lower back, round, 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 and curl in with your breath, moving, articulating the spine as much as you can. Dripping down, shoulders on the back, heart forward. See if you can sense into those 26 or so vertebrae that you have. We all have 26, just some are more connected or fused. And really try to articulate the space between each one. So as we are looking to focus on some twisting, we want to really make sure we're nice and fluid first so that those spots that are less flexible we got a little wash out and we're not trying to wring out any dry things, but yeah, getting everything nice and fluid. At your own pace, couple more breaths. And then make your hands nice and strong on all fours. Turn the toes under and lift up and back, downward dog. Let's step the feet as wide as your mat here, if you've got a regular mat. And bend the knees deeply, middle knees, middle toes equidistant. Working those knees wide, pull the hip back, belly chest reaches back between the thighs. Push out through the hands, bend the elbows slightly and scoop them towards each other as you wrap the shoulders away. Keep lifting tailbone here and working that lower back in towards the center. Next inhale, straighten the legs. And just pulsing here now, a couple more. Exhale, bend the knees deeply, pull back. Inhale, straighten the legs. Next time you bend your knees deeply, walk your hands all the way back to your legs so you're in a squat. If it feels a little early for a squat for you, then pulse it. Straighten the legs here and bend them sinking low. You could pulse in and out of that as you like, or once you feel ready to land in a squat, let's take some rotations here. Use that right arm to press the thigh wide and inhale open, left hand face chest to the sky. Exhale, float it down, other side, pressing in to open up, finding that anchor point and the blossoming open. Moving with your breath side to side. And take your time. Once you're even on both sides, come on back to center. 
parallel your feet. You want your feet about outer hip width here. And relax your neck. Give your head a little nod or roll around. And let's take hold of the elbows here and draw the elbows long. Reaching down through the arms, heavy head. Relax the neck. Feel into your feet. Lift and spread the toes. Hug the earth strongly with your feet, and let's begin a little swing. Reach that left elbow across to the right, heavy body right elbow across to the left. Follow your breath. And keep that reach going through the opposite elbow cross body, just like that in your forward fold, or let's go big. Left elbow all the way across the body, open up to the right, big, big circle, lift tall, and lead with that right elbow to come down, big, big circle. Continue with that. Keep the feet really hugging the earth and the muscles really hugging the bones so that you don't get dizzy. After three, in one direction, and at the bottom, you'll switch directions. At the bottom, take your time and pause. We're going to heel toe the feet wider and bow in forward fold. Hug the earth with your feet again. Pulling the feet actively towards one another. Feel those inner thighs really tone. Muscles hug the bones on the legs. Strong legs here. And breathe. Next inhale. Walk the spine long. Hands underneath the center of the chest. Now right hand beneath the center of the chest. Keep those feet active, pulling together. Right hand just beneath the center of the chest. Full length of the spine. Hips in line with heels. Next inhale. Open left hand. Face chest to the sky. Exhale. Right hand down. Keep those legs squeezing together. Inhale. Switch hands. Exhale down. Moving with your breath. And lost a breath or two, whatever you need to get even on both sides. And then walk towards your right foot or your front foot. Hands frame that front uh, foot. Pull the feet towards each other. Squeeze the inner thighs. Inhale, draw with your fingers. Shoulder blades down the back, heart forward. And exhale, let's melt the back knee and head down. Inhale, shine that heel back. Pull on the earth, heart forward. Exhale and mount. And keep that squeeze to center. And then as much extension, as much length as you can there through heel and out through your heart. Two more breaths. And let's inhale open, come back to center, lengthen spine, exhale fold. Notice the difference in your sides. <sighs> Second side, walk on over. You could step switch or just walk to the back of the mat. Same thing, no tricks. You'll know what we're doing. Squeeze the feet together. Hug inner thighs in. Pull on the earth. Shoulder blades down the back. Heart forward. Reach through that back heel. Big inhale there as you exhale. Next, melt the back knee and head <sighs> down to the earth. Inhale and open. Exhale, melting down. Three more breaths. Inhale and open, back to your wide-legged stance, lengthen out, and exhale, fold. 
Walk towards your right foot again, squeeze to center, strong core, hug it in, and pull that right hip back, left fingers forward, long, long side body breath. Keep squeezing those inner thighs. You're very light on that bottom hand. And open, right hand, face chest to the sky. Scoop the shoulder blades down the back. Lift your heart and lay back. Stay there as you like or reach that arm back behind you. Heavy bottom ear. Get that neck shoulder release. Deep full breaths. Four more. going to bring the hands down inside that front leg now. Maybe come down to your forearms. Lizard lunge. As needed, you can lower the back knee down. As able, keep it up and maybe rock and roll it around a little bit. Big breaths in the nose. Letting go out the mouth. Keep a little squeeze to center with the feet and the inner thighs. And then a whole lot of melting into the container of that squeeze. Last breath or so here. Next inhale, up onto your hands. Squeeze the inner thighs together and open that right leg out to the side. Step back, plank pose. Inhale, strong core, long spine in plank. Exhale, shift forward and slow and steady. Lower down to the earth. Press into your feet and stretch your legs way back. Point your toes way back. Push into your sacrum and pubic bone, hands under the shoulders. Pull with your hands, shoulder blades down the back. Press into pubic bone, lift navel. Lift your heart, open up. Drag yourself forward and lower back down. Let's just do a couple more of those. Really feel into that fulcrum, that grounding point. And the strength there that helps you to grow, to rise, to blossom. That grounding point um, for other things, you know, like creative things, that turning in, the dreaming, the imagining, that stepping back to take pause as we look at things. Next time you come up to the top, inhale as you exhale, turn, look over the right shoulder, pull your left shoulder blade down the back. Inhale back to center. Looking over that left shoulder, pull the right shoulder down the back. With your breath, once more each side. And as I do this and say what I've been saying, I'm thinking about how this great pause with pandemic is really forcing so many of us to get creative in different ways and how our structures and our cultures need that creativity right now. Lowering down, press back, child's pose taking this pause to see what needs to be moved or changed in the world, what needs attention, what have we been just bus busying, bustling by. <sighs> and now, how will we move forward? Give ourselves time to dream, time to turn in, time to refresh our perspectives. Roll your palms up here. Roll the thumbs towards the earth as much as you can. So you're getting a nice stretch in the shoulders, pinkies to midline. Palms open, thumbs opening to the sides. Simply breathful or out of Brahmari, bees breath. Like the end of the Om and NG, lifting pelvic floor, tongue and eyes lightly towards third eye center. Lips stay slightly parted, full body vibration. Mm -hmm. 
Inhale, palms to the ground. Exhale, lift from the navel. Ripple forward and bring that left foot with you. Second side, low lunge. As inspired, back knee under. Pull the feet together. Squeeze your inner thighs together. And keep really drawing back from this outer left hip muscle. This is your gluteus medius. That muscle pulls back as we reach forward and get as much side body length as you can. There are lots of... Yum, if you will, in that muscle in the side body. Pull the breath into the bottom tip of that lung. Follow any inhale to open top hand, face chest to the sky. Keep that activity in the leg. And then reach that top arm way back, bottom ear, heavy, soft jaw, rolling through with your breath. Four more. Try to find the fullest expression of each of those shapes as you pass through. Follow any exhale. Take your time and come down inside. Lizard lunge, hands or forearms to the earth. Back knee could land to ground more as needed. Or rock and roll it. <sighs> Letting go breaths here as you bow into yourself. Last breath cycle or so. <sighs> Next inhale, up onto your hands. Squeeze strong to the core. Open that leg out to the side. Step back, plank. Inhale, long spine plank. And exhale, shift forward, lower to the earth or chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Squeeze the shoulders. Either that same neck twist we did last time or an up dog. Dip the right hip down. Turn, look over the left shoulder. Come back to center. Dip that left hip down. Turn, look over the other shoulder. With your breath, a couple more. Inhale, open heart. And up dog or cobra. And exhale, up and back, downward dog. And step the feet, hip width. Just regular hip width, regular down dog stance, long spine, soft neck. Pull back from the core. Deep full breaths here. You could rest in child's pose as needed. Maybe you step the feet in just a little bit and take your right hand cross body to your left ankle or calf. Use the hold of that ankle, bend the elbow and turn, look under the right armpit or left armpit, excuse me, if you're holding the left leg. Stay there. Or maybe you challenge it, hug into the core, pull that Right, right foot strongly into the core, not the one you're holding, the free leg. Pull it into the core. Maybe you can light up onto your tiptoes there. Maybe you pick that foot up a little bit. Maybe, maybe, maybe to hip height. <sighs> maybe fall out. That's okay. And take your time. Reset when you're ready. Coming back to your down dog. Shorter down dog than usual. Relax the neck and switch hands. Holding onto the outside of that right ankle. Little pull. Bending that elbow and turn. Look under that right armpit. Keep squeezing to the core. Clawing those right fingers. Hug in. Pull that left foot up into the core. Lighting up to tiptoes. Maybe catching a little air there. Maybe hugging in leg to hip height. And take your time. Come on back out as you're ready. Down dog. Inhale, pull back. Exhale, right foot forward between the hands. Inhale, hug in, rise up, high lunge. Squeeze the hip square, stretch to the sky. Exhale, fly the arms down. 
Step the left foot forward. Inhale, half forward fold. And exhale, full and step the right foot back, left leg lunge. Squeeze to center, hug in strong, rise up. Stretch up and out, big breath. Exhale, fly the arms down. Step the right foot forward, left leg back. Inhale, fly up. You could go at that pace or inhale, stretch. Exhale, you could just step. Inhale up. Moving with the breath. Whatever pace your breath and body are ready to go, try to match them up. Taking your time, playing through lunge and stepping. Low lunge, high lunge, and stepping through. Last one or two each side. Whatever you need to get even on both sides. Once you are pause, standing in Tadasana, strong mountain. Push into the hands, shoulders on the back, lift your heart. Big breaths in the nose, out the mouth. <clears throat> We're going to continue to climb a mountain here, if you will, for a little bit. Inhale. Oh, I did get into the legs again. Something about the new moon energy. Here you go, grounding. Weight into the right foot. Hug the left knee up into your core. Inhale here. Exhale, hug to core and push that leg back. Standing um, warrior three. Inhale as you exhale, step back, high lunge. Stretch it out. Exhale, back foot up into the core for warrior three. Inhale, exhale, step back, squeeze, high lunge. With your breath, exhaling to transition. Inhale, the pose, warrior three. Exhale to transition. Inhale, the pose, high lunge. Two more. Really try to pull that back foot up into the core at hip height as much as you can each time. And then inhale your high lunge. I'm gonna to turn to face the camera. Right foot forward. <laughs> that was not funny almost. <laughs> okay. Sliding through the green screen into other worlds. Squeeze the hip square. Arms up, take hold of that left wrist and up out of the waist as you side bend towards the right. Hug to midline. Keep squeezing to midline, spiral around that center and hook your left elbow or tricep. Right hand to your hip, push that hip back, lift the heart, lengthen the spine. Most importantly here, that length of the spine. So really root into those points, lengthen out from the back heel up through your heart. Stay with that, palms together, shoulders on the back or hands to earth and sky your variation. Four more breaths. Take your time. Unwind. Pull the back foot into the core, maybe through warrior three, maybe just up to stand. Shake it out. Root down through the feet. Lift up through the heart. Gather up energetically, hands to heart center and focus, pressing into the palm shoulders on the back. Inhale here, exhale, pour the weight into your left foot. <clears throat> Pick that right knee up into the core. Inhale there, as you exhale, press back, warrior three. And follow your breath. We'll inhale each pose, exhale the transition. Oh, sorry, I skipped. <laughs> All right, not just pulsing in and out of warrior three unless that's what you want to do. Otherwise, back to high lunge. Inhale, stretch it out. Exhale, transition. 
<clears throat> Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, transition. Inhale, high lunge. Three more. Last one. Stretch it out and in high lunge, squeeze to center. Take hold of that right wrist, lift up out of the waist, hug those inner thighs together, front knee deep and wide, pull up and over to your left. Long side body breath. <clears throat> and keep that squeeze to center lift lift and spiral towards the leg left thumb to your hip crease push the head of that femur back elbow onto the thigh lengthen out really use these points of contact to bounce off of squeeze inner thighs and then spiral as deeply into the twist as you like palms together shoulders on the back hands to heart center or hands to earth and sky wherever you're feeling breathful right now and last breath or two And then unwind, come into a wide-legged forward fold. Spin the thighs back, reach your heart forward, and bow in. Slow and steady. As you're ready, walk towards your right foot. Step back. You can move through a vinyasa or come into plank pose. This could be a regular plank or a forearm plank. It's up to you. Holding steady. Lower the knees down as needed or lift the right knee up. Right tricep. Cross body, left tricep. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, foot forward between the hands. Inhale, root down, hug in, rise up, high lunge. Exhale, swan dive forward. Again, moving through vinyasa or just back, down dog or child. We'll meet in any variation of plank in the next breath or two. <clears throat> and take your time, make your way into plank second side if you're going there or hold steady long breaths neutral spine left leg up if you're going there exhale knee to left tricep and cross body windshield wiper <laughs> inhale up and back left leg to the sky exhale foot forward between the hands squeeze to center hug in rise up high lunge Stretch it out. <clears throat> Exhale. Bow in. Again, moving through vinyasa or rest down dog or child. So we're going to do one more bit of cardio <clears throat> coming up next. So please rest if you need to. <laughs> or take a little sip of your tea if you need to. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, back to down dog as inspired, inhale, exhale, right foot forward. Here's a mellow option, inhale, exhale, step, switch, inhale, exhale, step, switch, mellow option, or here we go, here we go, here we go, now ready, 
Inhale, exhale, hop, switch. Both feet back, plank, strong core. Hold steady, five. Down to the forearms. You can rest if you need to. Otherwise, elbows under shoulders, press into the hands, widen the shoulders, melt the heart. Hold steady. Maybe interlace the hands here to keep them nice and strong. Keep the elbows as wide as the shoulders, forearms pressed into the floor. Step your big toes to touch, heart forward, tailbone long. Big breaths in the nose, out the mouth, and roll on over to the outside of your right foot. Keep those forearms pressing, lengthen tailbone, lift the heart, press through the feet. Breathe here. Inhale back to center, exhale other side. Inhale back to center, lower down, open up sphinx. Lift the elbows, drag yourself forward, long spine, and right arm out to the right, directly out from the right shoulder. Press into your left fingers and step your left foot behind your right knee, roll open. You could stay there. Keep pushing into those left fingers to get that shoulder blade onto the back. Or left forearm behind uh, back of the forearm on the lumbar spine, push in, work that top shoulder on the back. Or maybe reach down for your top ankle or foot and kick it back towards your bottom hand. Relax the neck, uh, soft jaw, lift your heart and breathe at wherever your edge is there. Uh, and last breath or two here. And keep a hold of that ankle or foot and slowly draw the knees back together. Release as inspired back to your belly. Press into that hand or roll your shoulder around. And then as you're ready, second side. Extend that left arm out to the side. Press into the right fingers. Heavy head, soft neck, support as needed. And step that right foot behind the left knee. Push into those front fingers, shoulders on the back. Stay with that or back of the forearm on the low back curve. Push in, balance that top shoulder back. Ah, stay with that or reach down for that bottom or top ankle or foot and kick it back towards your bottom hand. Lift the chest. Breath in the nose. Ah, breath out your mouth. Ah, three or four more breaths. Please stay as you like, 
or if you've got a hold of that top foot or ankle, slowly draw the knees back together, get that tractioning there, come back to the belly as inspired, push into that left hand, roll your shoulder around, inhale, open up Cobra, play with that, or uh, uh, locust, <laughs> hugging in, lifting thighs, lifting hands, stay with that or bend the knees, reach back for ankles or feet, and kick back, squeeze the shoulders on the back, lift the heart. About five more breaths, any play with back bend that is inspired for you. Ah, and take your time when you're ready. Come on down, rest on your belly a moment. You could turn the head to one side and big belly breath. Breath in the nose and push the belly into the earth full with breath. And then ah, just receive that back. Turn your head to the other side. Big belly breaths. Yogi's choice, you can either roll right over onto your back here or we'll meet you there. Hands under shoulders, lift elbows and shoulders, toes under, lift thighs. Inhale here as you exhale, claw the fingers, lift the navel, push up, plank pose. Inhale there, exhale up and back, downward dog. In down dog, step the big toes to touch and let's pivot, knees and toes bend deep, side to side. Knees and toes one direction, hips the other, sink in, squeeze, deep bend in the knees. Inhale and stretch back. You could just roll on over again or maybe bend deep into the knees. Empty of breath. Hop or step through to lying on your back. Whee. And lying on the back here. Inhale. Stretch and reach through fingers and toes. <sighs> Exhale. Swoop into a little boat. Hands to your thighs. Heels up. Shoulders up. Hold steady. <sighs> Or Gopalavate. Hold steady or rock it to one hip. Other side. Whee! Come on back to center and let's bridge up and stretch all that out. Options here, you could take a block and put it underneath your sacrum. You could take a block and squeeze it between your thighs. Or imagine you've got a block squeezing between your thighs and any variation of your arms. If you can, interlace the fingers. Squeeze the shoulders on the back. Lift your chin. Push into center back of the head. Press into shoulders, elbows, hands. Squeeze glutes, lift hips. Lift heart, lift chin, long, slow breaths here in the nose. Out your mouth. And I highly recommend it. Any singing, sighing, laughing, crying, toning, moaning, groaning, whatever wants to move through you here, get it. I'm going to go for a couple long ahs, open jaw, open throat, looking to vibrate the heart. Ah. Oh. Options, stay here longer, or maybe you've got the block between your thighs, you could put the block under your sacrum, or put your block off to the side, maybe bend the elbows and hold your sacrum, your hips, and lift, shoulders on the back, Lift the chin, breathe here. 
options. You could come back down to earth and rock and roll to get your legs over your head or hug in and reach the legs up and overhead. Halasana, plow pose. Interlace your hands, squeeze the shoulders on the back. Really reignite that strong shoulder landing so there are no vertebrae on the earth. Keep the chin lifted so the cervical curve is strong and reach the toes overhead towards the floor as much as you can. Chin stays lifted, strong neck. Play with the rock in and out if holding the pose is not good for you. Just massage your spine. Options, you could just have your sacrum on your block and maybe lift your legs up to the sky. Please stay in plow as long as you like, or if you're working from plow, squeeze the legs together and lift the heels to the sky, bend the elbows and hold your back. Walk the hands down towards your shoulder blades as much as you can. Reach up through the heels and again, keep lifting through your chin so you've got a long, strong cervical curve. That's your natural neck curve. Reaching through the heels, lengthen back body. Lift the chin, squeeze shoulders, breathe. Stay right here, rest on a block, or come back to plow or the earth as needed. If you would like to play here, here's a little play. Right leg overhead as far as you can, heavy. Left foot reaches away, heavy left foot. So there's a little counterbalancing going in the legs. They're both reaching away in opposite directions as far as you can. You could stay with that, or we could bring a little twist into our shoulder stand here, reaching both feet like helicopter your legs. Reach that right foot across the body and left foot away, spiraling through the legs. Stay with that or keep spiraling the legs into eagle legs. You could push into the outsides of the shin, squeeze through that spiral of your legs and pull up. Stay with that or you could bring that right knee down towards your forehead, squeeze and pick it back up. Keep lifting the chin. We want that neck shoulder connected to be very strong. You could pulse here, just hold it down or just pull it back up. Last two or three breaths. Take your time when you're done, unwind and melt the legs back overhead into plow. If you're in a more restorative pose, just be there, just breathe. Reignite shoulders in plow, shoulders on the back, chin lifts, center back of the head, right behind the upper ears. That's where we want the pressure to be. Stay in plow, or if you did that one-sided thing, let's do the other. Squeeze the legs, pull up, 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 reach through the heels, elbows bend, hold your spine, lift your chin. Stay there, maybe, left leg overhead, right foot reaches heavy, heavy, heavy away. Big breaths in the nose. <sighs> That's another word for out the mouth, where they both are. Ah. <laughs> Stay with that or cross body with that left leg, right leg, legs, uh, helicopter, reach, reach, reach. And stay in that or spiral the legs, hook, pull up. Stay in that or maybe pulse, left knee towards the forehead, squeeze, lift back up, shoulders on the back, lift the chin. And pulse that or hold steady at any point of it. Last three breaths. And take your time. When you're ready, unwind. Melt the legs overhead back to plow or into Karnapidasana. Knees rest on forehead, temples or ears. And then wrap the arms around the back of the legs, maybe holding your elbows around your thighs. And again, a little lift in the chin, so the cervical curve stays activated. Maybe a little less now, it's okay. 
And just take pause in any forward fold. So um, any fold, I should say. So this could be Karna Pidasana with knees, forehead, temples, ears, legs, overhead. Or if this is not very accessible for you, just any supported forward fold. Pelvic bowl rocking forward, spine long over the legs, bow in. Just find a turning in place here at the end of our practice. Turning in. Support yourself so the head is supported. Jaw soft. <sighs> Breath deep and full. <sighs> Letting go breath. And please stay in your fold as long as you like or unwind part way. Um, if you're in Karnapidasana or plow, let's bring the palms down to the floor alongside the body. Palms flat down, squeeze the legs and resist your roll down. One vertebra at a time, slow and steady rolling down. You might have the hands so they're just under the edge of your seat there, not under bones, and squeeze the legs as they come through center. Legs act like a lever. Hug the elbows in, squeeze your shoulders on the back, and lift your heart. Pour yourself up over the shoulders. This could also be accessed from sitting up. So you could again have the hands underneath, elbows tucked in, squeeze the shoulders, lift, lift the heart to the sky, and pour yourself over your shoulders. Oh, head barely, barely touches the earth. Breathful here. <sighs> and stay with that or slowly melt down. If you're ready to come directly into Shavasana, please do. Maybe you want to hug your knees in. Maybe a little happy baby, any lost movements or shapes, listen to your body. What do you want right now or need to feel complete with your practice? With your physical practice, that is. And then you could move into Shavasana, final resting at any point. Any other last inspired shapes or movements? Maybe you come into a meditative seat or any supported shape. Now, wherever you're headed, we're bringing ourselves to slow down a bit and to return to sensing the earth holding us. The breath and breathing out. We bring our awareness back to that movement of breath. Noticing the pause at the top of the inhale, the turning as it becomes the exhale, the pause at the bottom of the exhale, and the turning as it becomes the inhale. You could intentionally breathe for a bit, gathering up the energy of your practice, direct it to your intention, your yes, breathe and repeat your mantra, I am. I am at ease in body and mind. I am open, loving awareness. I am rich with gratitude and wonder. I am steady, 
patient, reflective. I am love and revolution. The turning, the turning. Enter these turning points where the rhythms of life transform one into the other. Breath flows in, filling, filling. In this moment, drink in eternity. Breath flows out, emptying, emptying, offering itself to infinity. Cherish these moments where mind dissolves into heart. Heart dissolves into space. Body becomes a shimmering field pulsating between fullness and emptiness. Heavy body, soft body. Let go of any unnecessary holds and be held. Light, spacious mind, open heart. Infinite self. And all of those turning points where one thing becomes the next. Simply observe without trying to control your thought or perception. Observe the arising. And without attending to story or judgment, notice the turning and the melting away just like the breath. We don't try to stop the thoughts, we just don't entertain them. Rest in spacious awareness, observing the natural pulsation of life in and out of form.
I encourage you to stay resting or in meditation as long as you like or are able. When you're ready to come back, gently guide your awareness to the breath. Notice the natural movement of breath, life, lifing itself to you, through you, through this body as you. Notice how when you bring your awareness to the breath, it naturally responds, yes, hello, and deepens and lengthens. As will anything we bring our attention to, we focus on, we'll get bigger. What are we choosing to focus on in this time of great turning? As you deepen and lengthen the breath, intentionally now breathe and repeat your heart's yes, I am. What little move, what little new thing or new perspective can you see yourself or imagine yourself taking today in honor of this slowly smiling, brighter new moon energy? And the turning of the tides of the world. Imagine into your yes, your offering growing brighter. Breathe it deeper and fuller as inspired. And see what that deeper, fuller breath inspires you to do. And follow it to any movement, wiggle, spiral, sparkle, stretch. Maybe the breath leads you to roll to one side and ultimately to drape soft neck back up to any seat. Stay as you are or take your time draping slowly into a seat and rest in a comfortable seat or as you are. And notice the energy that's present for you right now. the aliveness that's present for you right now. And the spaciousness that's always there waiting for you to attend. And in this spaciousness lies the pratibha, our greatest wisdom, that knowing beyond words, the animal instinct, the creative impulse, the intuition. Ground down, touch the earth. Let us give thanks to all the beauty and the abundance the teachings, the wonder of nature all around us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Follow any inhale to open wide and gather up energetically. Bring the palms together and center and focus again the energy of our collective practice to the crown of the head. May we awaken to our oneness, our interconnectedness. And hands to the third eye center, may we see clearly, knowing beyond words, big picture. And hands to the mouth, may we speak our truth, may we sing our songs, may we ask the hard questions. And hands to the heart, may we be present for whatever arises with courage, with kindness, with curiosity. 
And may all of our effort and energy be for the greatest good. May those around us benefit. May it ripple out. May all beings benefit. May all beings be joyous and free and safe from harm. Ah, exhale and empty out. Inhale your hearts. Yes, if you will join me. One om, one hoing. Oh. Inhale, press into your pinkies and thumbs. Maybe blossom your fingers open, blossoming that lotus of your heart open. And lift it to the sky and blossom yourself open even wider, rippling your yes out into the world. And returning to center, namaste, honoring that light within yourself and within all beings. And bowing into the earth, Jai Mama. Thank you, great mama. And thank you all for practicing. Thank you for practicing with me. Let me know if you have any questions or comments uh, here now on Facebook, my website, YouTube, all the places. Also, I have a Patreon page now. Thank you for those of you who signed up. And um, yeah, I'm going to be moving more and more stuff over there. I've heard that Facebook's stopping live streaming soon. So YouTube and Patreon will be the places to find me um, in October, more and more so from year forward. Um, yeah, I'm going to stop the live stream. Blessings, y'all. And uh, your donations are always welcome in any way. PayPal, Venmo, Lucidon, Lucidon, at Gmail, Lucidon1D. Okay.